This week on the RC Shop, we get back to work on the Frank Special Giveaway Truck. All right, Frank, let's get back to work. Let's start with what? Who? Who's on the phone? Highway One's on the phone? Give me one minute. Frank, get up, Highway One call. The Marlin Crawler's back. So Highway One called and they've sent the Marlin Crawler back. Not because they were unsatisfied with what they received, but because they want to take this thing to the next level. The boss said okay, and there's a whole list he has for us to upgrade on it. We're gonna start first with the interior. I'm pulling Frank off of the giveaway truck and I'm gonna have him tear down the Marlin. Okay, now that Frank's got the Marlin crawler broken down, I'm gonna have it sent over to the body shop where it's gonna be completely stripped and then sent on over to the interior shop. Hey, welcome to the interior shop, guys. Here's where we're gonna build out the interior. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you'd like to support the Tandem Sea Television channel, please head over to tandemseatelevision.weebly.com. Any support helps keep this channel alive. I ordered in the RC four wheel drive interior kit as a base to start with. This kit should make fitment easier and allow for a smoother install. We'll start by removing all the parts and getting them cleaned up. With all the parts deburred, now we can glue everything together. and use clamps to hold tight. Once all the parts are glued up, everything gets a light sanding. Then we fill and clean up any imperfections.
Now that the filler is dried completely, we sand smooth and give a coat of primer. This is gonna be a show truck, so I have the guys give it a leather interior. Now everything gets assembled. With the interior fully upholstered, except for the carpets and mats, which are on order, we can now figure out the door panels. With the door cutouts, the stock panels aren't going to work. So we'll have to mock it up and figure out where to cut the panel. Now before we can mock it up, I'm gonna have to cut this dash so it'll clear our custom hinges under the hood. With the interior installed, you can see that the entire door panel is exposed through the cutouts in the door. I'm gonna have to remove the majority of the door panels, only utilizing the rear mount. Looking at the interior installed with the door cutouts, you can see it sits kind of high up in the cab. I'm gonna have to fill these gaps with some door sills. Looks a little strange up this high, but we're gonna need this space below.
Like I said, we're gonna be adding carpet and mats and some door sills. And with it sitting up higher, I think we'll be able to see that a little better. But let me know what you think. That's all we have time for this week, guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep up with these builds. And leave a like if you would, it really helps out the channel. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.